Today we are going to see about ECMAScript 6. To discuss what is ECMAScript 6, we need to go through the history of ECMAScript. It all started in May 1995. In May 1995, JavaScript is created. At the time of its creation, it is not named as JavaScript. These are the list of events happened at the time of its creation. In May 1995, Netscape Navigator, a popular web browser at the time, wanted to create a language which can be used to handle client interactions at the client side rather than doing everything at the server side. Brendan Eck, a developer at Netscape, created a programming language in 10 days. Oh, that's great which is named as Mocha by Mark Anderson, who is the founder of Netscape. On September 1995, the name got changed to LiveScript. And in the same year, Netscape received trademark license from Sun to use Java in their language. So, it is named as JavaScript. It is a marketing strategy because Java is very famous at the time. With the different version of language for different browser, there came the need to standardize the language. So ECMA, which is an acronym for European Computer Manufacturer Association, standardized the JavaScript and released as ECMAScript 1 in 1997. Following this, ECMAScript 2 and 3 released in 1998 and 1999 respectively. ECMAScript 4 was completely scrapped oh, due to the lack of support from some important implementers. 2009, ECMAScript 5 is released and in 2015, the ECMAScript 6 is released. So, this is a history about ECMAScript, ECMAScript 6 browser support. When the committee made ECMAScript 6 official in June 2016, the companies which produce web browser got new guidelines to handle the JavaScript. It is not feasible to make all the browsers handle ECMAScript 6. Suddenly, it is an incremental process. In this web page, we can see which browser will support which features of ECMAScript 6 at this point of time. So here comes the question, how to start writing code in ECMAScript 6 and make it work in all browser. So the workaround is, our ECMAScript 6 code need to be transpiled to ECMAScript 5 because when we see this web page, ECMAScript 5 be supported by maximum all the browser but when we click ECMAScript 6 we can able to see some red color although it is widely supported by maximum all the new versions of Chrome, Safari and iOS to make it work in all the browsers in the old versions too our ES6 code need to be transpiled to ES5 before we try to render that in the web browser. There are various transpilers available now to perform this task. Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos, please subscribe this channel.